and it's uh, quarter to ten. I couldn't ask, it's quarter to eleven, big pun. Well, and I'm, I'm ashamed to say this is the amount of bread that we are throwing out this week, folks. Look at this. I mean, look at this. It's crazy. What have we got here? We've got half a loaf of soft white hovis. Now, I've had a couple of sandwiches from that, and it's still got, it still feels actually quite soft. We've got two, I think they're rolls from, I don't know where they're from, man. It's like a couple of average rolls. There's another roll here. This one's, this one must be from the co op. That'll be from Sunday. Goodness me. We've got a wee bit left of Marks and Spencer's bread, which is probably still okay. Slice. Yeah, that's expensive. That's about a pound twenty for a loaf of that. And there's about 50 pence worth left in there, man. And then all these rolls, four, four rolls. I mean, what else was that about? Okay. I know sometimes you go to the shop and you get two rolls. Oh, you get six for a pound or something. But I mean, we don't need it, so we're throwing it out. So that's four, five, six, seven rolls and sort of like half a slice of white and a, a third of a slice of Martin Spencer's brown bread. That is what we're throwing out, folks. That is, I'm, sh I'm shocked, honestly. Right, folks, here we are at the Green Pyramid of Consumers and where I have to get a light bulb <coughs> for the sitting room. The one we've got in the lamp is just it's a little bit too bright, so I need to maybe get a 40 watt one. The one we've got is 70 watt. Um, it's one of these bayonet caps, but uh, I think you have to, you can only buy these um, these new ones, can't you? These uh, saving energy things. So we'll go in and see what we can get anyway. So 40 watt, 40 watt, under, something under 70 watts anyway. <laughs> Okay, folks, well, update on the situation there for the light bulb. Well, when I was in Asda, I phoned Rosie because I didn't know whether we had things for tea, but uh, she said, the light bulbs are £6 in Asda. I'm not paying £6 for a light bulb. So I said, oh, all right, okay. So instead, I've got a beef tomato, yes. And I've got some some Colgate. Oh, I just realised I've got some Colgate toothpaste this morning as well, didn't I? So I'm all branded up. Look, Colgate, I'm branded up. So let me see if this whitens my teeth within two weeks or whatever it says here. Um, whiter teeth in 14 days, because my teeth are all, oh, just, just with the receding gums and everything, folks. So, um, oh, yes, so uh, macaroni and cheese for tea. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's why I got the tomato. So, and uh, bechamel sauce. I hate making a bechamel sauce, man. It'll stir and stir and stir and make sure it's okay. But hey, I had the cheese and, do you put an egg in? I can't remember now. Do you? Oh, oh yeah, you do, don't you? Right, anyway, I'm um, going home. All right, folks, I've had this bus here in this box for, oh, it must be at least, what, 20, 20 years? An old man gave this to me, John Steele, I think his name was. He used to smoke a pipe. And he was an interesting old man. He always used to tell me tales of things. And he, always, he gave me a little miniature whiskey. He was always bringing the bits and pieces in. He was a, a, a lovely old man. You know, this pipe, flat cap, you know. And he bought me this in one day. And he said, yeah, Jack, you keep that. That'll be worth something sooner or later. There you go. Look. So, it is. It's an Evening Telegraph deluxe um, bus. I've kept in the box, it's not in the best condition because I've had it out, I've played with it obviously. But um, uh, the Evening Telegraph, they've done the Evening Telegraph. I'm not actually sure what it's worth. I'm, I'm actually, I'm going to Google it and find out. Exclusive first editions, 176 scale. Will we get it out of the box and have a look at it? Yes, come on, let's see. Right, so here it is, coming out of the box. This is the first time it's been out of the box for since 1994, I reckon. So here it comes, out the box. Watch I don't drop it or something. So you try and keep these things in, in good condition because that's um, they're worth more money when they're like that. Oh, this bit comes off here, look. Whoa, nice. And here it is, folks, the bus. Goodness me, there it is. Wow. 
<laughs> the Courier Advertiser on one side and the Evening Telegraph on the other side. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a well-detailed little model. It's got the petrol tank and the upper deck. And you've seen the upper deck. Crikey. Oh, what does it say on the front there, man? Look, it's got a, where's my magnifying glass? Hang on. So where's this bus going, folks? Let's have a look. Where's it going? Downfield and the hill town, the number 20 bus. There it is. <laughs> I think it actually probably was a real bus. The number 20 it used to go to Downfield. Um, so there we go. Look, look at the side over there. Yeah, look, what's that? What does that say? 184 or something? What does that say? Not sure what that's all. That's probably the petrol cap around the back. Oh, is the number 20 on the back? It's even got a number plate. Look, there we go. What's the number plate say? ETS. Oh, uh, focus there, folks. Have that. ETS 964 and 184 in the back. I don't know what that's all about. And that insignia there, what's that all about? I'm not sure what that is. But it's even got the pole. We need to hang off the back of the bus and look, you can actually get inside the bus. Wow, the seats, crikey. What's that say on the side there? What's that? Another. Will that be the, um, the amount of people that can actually get on the bus? Yeah, like seating capacity. What's that say? Oh, I can't really read it, man. Yeah, maybe you used to be able to stand up on the bus as well. Look, there's something on the side as well. What's that there? Crikey, I've never noticed this before. What's that say? Corporation Transport Department, West Bell Street, Dundee. Wow, it's amazing. I've never looked at this before in so much detail. I know there's one eight four. That's where the driver would have been just in there. And once again, we have the engine and the. Oh, excellent, man. Brilliant. Next, fair, please. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> the hill town go on brilliant bus at the top of main street to the rink the 20th uh-huh took you to the ice east, east part to the ice rink so the number 20 actually went up the yeah. oh excellent right okay thank you it took me to the to the circle we stood at the, at the end of Strathmore before it actually went across the circle into downfield you know going mm. out towards um seth martin yeah all right just about up at that spot there. And we used to just walk down to the rink, because the rink used to be one of the big Tesco's. That's right. As now. Oh. So, there we go, folks. The bus is going back in its box. Away for another, another 20 odd years, or however long it's going in from there. It is sealed up again. And back in, well, you can get a little, never notice that, you get a little street scene in the box as well. Wow. Is that what comes out? Look, excellent. <laughs> wow. They've got shops. Crikey, look. Oh, I need to have a closer look at the shops. Hang on. Oh, folks, look, they've got shops. Dunnings, Bogarts. What's that one there? Removals, furniture, imports. J. Campbell. I wonder if those were real shops, man. Where's that? I don't know. I need to check out these shops, man, see if they were real teas and coffees. Noble Hardware and Walter and something. Wow, you've got a lamppost and the pavements, chimneys. Look at that, fantastic. Got a course. There it is, waiting to pick up its passengers. Excellent. Well, so there it is, and folks, that is the bus definitely going away now. Fantastic. I've never looked at that bus before in, in all this detail. It's actually got a number on the side. I've just noticed that as well. Um, what does it say? Daimler CVG6. Dundee. It's got a number on I'll, I'll get a close look at that as well. We've even got a, a thing on the back as well, so I'll need to read that. Um, so thank you, John. John Steele. You're a gentleman, sir. And uh, thank you very much. Um, I, I know he's, he's, he's dead. Uh, it must be, but um, this will, is that, I, mean, I can't get it back together folks, oh no, disaster, let's have a look, go that way round, a little bit, no, that way, there we go, that's it, there it is, sealed up in this little time capsule for another, 
another few years anyway until we take it out again. There we go, give it away. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. I'm going to check out all these little shops and see if they were they were real or or whatever. So there it is. Brilliant, excellent fun. Thank you, John. How tired I am of my good and my evil. It is all poverty and dirt and a miserable ease. What good is my pity? It is not my pity. A cross upon which he who loves man is nailed. But my pity is no crucifixion It is not sin but your moderation That cries all the way up to heaven And sinks all the way down to hell Something like that.